we had the same equation with electricity. Um, so we're looking at the carbon tax. We know that we're going to have an increase passed on by electricity generators in, in the Latrobe Valley. So they generate the electricity from brown coal. Brown coal attracts a lot of emissions, so they're going to have to pay permits and the electricity price is going to go up. So how can we, how can we secure an electricity supply for the site which is going to be cheaper in the future and generate less emissions? And we looked at, at combining two projects, one which we'll go down to see in a minute is right down the back part of our yard. It's a geothermal ball. We draw water from 700 metres down where it's heated by the Earth's core. And then uh, the second of that, we've linked the two together, is the electricity cogeneration plant. So it's combining electricity generation and heat generation at the same time from one energy source. And traditionally, when, when electricity is produced in the Latrobe Valley, they don't capture the, the heat energy off it. So you burn coal, create steam, and generate uh, turn turbines to generate electricity. And then that heat energy is just lost into the atmosphere. Um, what electricity cogeneration does is it, it works like your car engine. You know, when you're, you're in a car, it's got a radiator. So the radiator is to cool the engine. What we've done is we pass water through the radiator and we heat that water up, but we don't just let it go into the atmosphere. It goes into a pipe and it's it goes over to our factory and we use that for a hot water. So one of the things about this industry, which is very historical and probably going to be changed sometime into the future is we use hot water for sterilising all our knives. Um, so we've got a number of hot water points all within the factory. If you go inside one room there might be 30 uh, small buckets that have got a hot water supply that goes in, goes out and it goes to waste. But the guys on site, every time they make a cut, they have to put the knife into the bucket and sterilise it. Um, so all that water that we're using, we're only using it once. And we use, we have to use 82 and a half degree water for that. So there's a lot of water that's been consumed and a lot of energy. And we had to take water which was 12 degrees at the water supply and bring it up to 82 and a half degrees. Now we take water which is 42 degrees from the bore. We pass it through the cogen unit to cool the cogen engine down and also heat up the water and that brings it to 75 degrees and then we only have to top it up to 82 and a half. So it's a very, very small amount of energy that we need to consume just to heat water on site, whereas before it was a large amount of energy. 